Hi everyone, I'm Temi from DG Solar and today I will be taking you through how to connect your GrowWatt data logger to the Shine Phone monitoring app. This video is useful if your inverter has lost communication with the Shine Phone, maybe because you have just changed your Wi-Fi provider. You need to have a Shine Phone account already and if you don't, you can create one for free by registering on the app. Once you're logged into the app, the dashboard screen will come up. The screen will show current power as zero. If the data logger is offline, you will also see current device online is zero. To start the configuration, select plants at the bottom of the screen. The plant screen will usually display the inverter data, including the amount of energy the panels are generating, your load consumption, and other data from the inverter. When the logger is disconnected, the data won't be up to date. If you haven't added a data logger to your plant already, the plant page will ask you to add data logger. The data logger is the dongle that is attached to the underside of your inverter and looks like a large USB stick with an LED light on it. When you select Hard Data Logger, a barcode scanner will come up. Use that to scan the barcode or QR code on the data logger. You can also enter the serial number manually if you have any issues scanning the barcode. The serial number is usually on the back of the data logger. If you have a data logger added already and you just want to reconfigure the connection, on the plant page, select the plus sign on the top right of the screen. That will give you the options of plant management, app data logger, data logger list, and optimizer. Select data logger list to show the list of data loggers you have added previously. You can see on the new screen that the data logger that was previously added is offline. Simply click on the data logger to bring up the options of what you can do to the data logger. Select configure data logger to reconnect data logger. When you select configure data logger, it will take you to step two, which you will get two options, the standard mode, and the hotspot mode. The hotspot mode is what we're going to use today to reconnect our data logger. I have made a tutorial on the standard mode, which is also available on our, on our YouTube channel. The standard mode is usually more straightforward, but if you struggle with the standard mode, you can try the hotspot mode. So to continue, select hotspot mode. The next step, which is step three, we ask you to short press the data logger button to enter the hotspot mode. The button can be found under the data logger or on the side of it and it's labeled key. The button might be covered by a black cap, which you will have to take off. Use a thin screwdriver or a pen to push the button. You have to make sure you have a solid blue light on the dongle before you can proceed to the next step on the app. The next step requires you to connect your phone's Wi-Fi to the network of the data logger. You might get a pop-up saying the name of the connected Wi-Fi is different from the name of the data logger serial number. Select go to set, which will take you to your Wi-Fi settings. Select and connect to the dongle serial number you're trying to configure. The SN and the hotspot name should be the same. Both must have the serial number of the data logger you're trying to connect. Select next. This is where you will add your Wi-Fi network. Click go to set to select your Wi-Fi if it's not already in the box. You might also be able to enter it manually if you can't see the list or your network is not on the list. Enter the Wi-Fi password and make sure there are no spaces or special characters in your password. The password box is also case sensitive. Once your Wi-Fi username and password is entered, select configure immediately. The configuration process should begin. Once the process is completed, it will tell you if your configuration was successful or if it failed. If the configuration was successful, you can return to the power plant to see if the system is now getting data from the inverter. You can also confirm the system is back online by going to data logger list as we did earlier in the video to see if the data logger is now showing as online. If your configuration failed, you might have to retry the process 
Common reason it might have, it might have failed includes putting in the wrong password, your password having special characters or spaces in them, your Wi-Fi not being on 2.4 gigahertz frequency. You are always welcome to send us an email or leave a comment if you can't get it connected. So that's it for me for today. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to visit dgsolar.co.uk for more information. This has been Tech with Temi, Happy Generating.